Today we are going to discuss the basic methods for making economic studies and first we will discuss the rate of return or this ROR method. So from here we have a simple definition for this ROR method. The rate of return on the capital invested is given by this formula. The rate of return or the ROR is just simply equal now to the net annual profit over the capital invested. Okay. Second definition is the rate paid on the unpaid balance of borrowed money or the rate earned on the unrecovered balance of an investment so that the final payment or receipt brings the balance to exactly zero with interest considered okay again we have this last no definition for this rate of return the advantage of this method is that it is easily understood by the management and even the investors okay, so from the perspective of someone who has borrowed money the interest rate is applied to this unpaid balance, no? To this one. Okay. So that the total loan amount and interest are paid in full exactly with the last loan payment. So that is why this balance is going to be exactly equal to zero. And from the perspective of a lender of money, there is an unrecovered balance, no? Still, we have this unrecovered balance at each time period. So, it could be from the first year, second year, until the end year. And the interest rate is the return on this unrecovered balance. So that the total amount lent and the interest are recovered exactly with the last receipt. And the rate of return describes no both of this perspective no it could be from the borrower's perspective and from the lender's perspective and the definition does not state that the return or the rate of return is on the initial amount of the investment rather it is on this unrecovered balance which changes its time period so before we proceed now to this uh, sample problem, no, uh, I just want to to discuss, no, to make it clear to everyone that we need to consider this unrecovered balance, no, when we are considering the rate of return or this ROR, because as far as uh, we are concerned, as of the moment, most of the lending corporations and companies now are they are using no uh, that a principal amount no as as the part no of that uh, interest rate but in our discussion today you will uh, know and you will discover the difference of using the rate of return considering this unrecovered balance and not considering the unrecovered balance okay so proceeding, we have now this simple problem number one. To get started in a new telecommunicating position with IEB Engineering and Consultancy, Jane took out a 1,000 pesos loan at interest rate equal now to 10% per year for four years to buy office equipment. And from the lender's perspective, the investment in this young engineer is expected to produce an equivalent net cash flow or annuity for each of four years and this represents a 10% per year rate of return on the recovered balance. Okay, so we are going to compute the amount of the recovered investment for each of the four years using A, the rate of return on the recovered balance and this B, the return on the initial 1,000 pesos investment. And C, we, we are going to explain why all of the initial amount of 1,000 pesos is not recovered by the final payment in part B. 
fifty. Okay, so we are going to calculate no uh, this one considering first the rate of return on the unrecovered balance. Okay, so as our solution, so we are considering this unrecovered balances using this ten percent rate of return on this unrecovered balance since uh, this is our 10% per year uh, rate of return referring now to this 10% year okay so we have now this uh, given parameters no if we are going to calculate the annuity the based on the problem our n is just simply equal now to 4 years our i is just 10% and we have now this uh, P, no? our principal, which is this 1,000 pesos. So, after that, uh, we are going to use the formula in calculating no, the annuity since we are considering this principal or P of 1,000. So, case number 1, no? we are going to use the case number 1 in which uh, we consider that one as PAPA. So, the formula is P equal now to this annuity times the quantity here 1 plus i raised to the n minus 1 all over 1 plus i raised to the n times the interest rate i okay so substituting this 1000 here the value of our i which is 10 percent and the value of our n is just uh, four years here so the remaining item or variable here is a and we can actually calculate our value of a which is just equal now to 315 pesos and 47 centavos okay so we are done with this annuity no and we are going to consider first no at year zero as we proceed to the calculation no, of this rate of return or roi method so considering this year at year zero so we have now this unrecovered balance no at the beginning okay so our unrecovered balance at the beginning is just simply equal now to zero okay and since we are starting at year zero so probably at year zero we don't have any unrecovered balance no at the beginning so that is why it is just equal to zero and for the interest on unrecovered balance so since our uncovered balance at the beginning is zero so probably our interest of 10% will not uh, still equal not to zero because our interest i times zero is just simply equal to zero and our equivalent cash flow is just equal now to this 1000 pesos okay because we are starting at year zero so the annuity will start no the calculated annuity on our previous slide which is uh, equal to about 315 okay we'll start on the first year but since we are starting at year zero so our equivalent cash flow is the amount itself the 1000 pesos okay and we have now this recovered amount so our recovered amount is still uh, zero no since uh, we don't have we don't have a, a this uh, unrecovered balance no, from the beginning and we have also this unrecovered balance no, at the end unrecovered balance at the end which is 1000 pesos okay so later no uh, when we proceed no to year one you will fully understand uh, why is it that we have all these uh, items here from the unrecovered balance at the beginning which is zero interest on unrecovered balance is still zero and our equivalent cash flow which is 1000 and this recovered amount of zero since we don't have an amount to recover no, because we still have this unrecovered balance of zero so therefore the unrecovered balance no, at the end will just simply equal now to still 1000 so what's the formula of this so you can understand no, when we proceed with at year one so now we are considering year one so this amount this unrecovered balance at the end no 
of uh, of year zero is just simply our unrecovered balance no at the beginning this will be equal now to this unrecovered balance at the beginning for the year one okay so this one will be equal now to this unrecovered balance at the beginning okay and this interest on unrecovered balance is just simply equal now since the interest i is 10 percent so 0 0.1 times this unrecovered balance no of 1000 at the beginning starting at year one okay so this is 0 0.1 times this amount of 1000 which is just simply equal now to 100 pesos and how about our equivalent cash flow so since uh, the annuity will start no at year one so we can use now this uh, 315 pesos and 47 centavos here as our equivalent cash flow or this annuity for year one okay and we have now this recovered amount so how we could calculate this recovered amount so this is just simply equal now to this equivalent cash flow of 315.47 minus this interest on unrecovered balance of 100 so that is why this is 315 minus 100 so our unrecovered amount is equal now to 215.47 pesos okay and we have now this unrecovered balance no at the end okay what is this unrecovered balance at the end so it is just simply equal now to equal to this 1000 here no this unrecovered balance at the beginning which is this one minus this uh, recovered amount which is 215.47 so that's why 1000 minus 215.47 is just simply equal now to 784 pesos and 53 centavos okay so when we proceed to year two so more or less uh, you're still using the same flow no in getting these values here for year two so considering year two we have now this calculation okay for the recovered balance at the beginning for year two so probably this amount will be equal now to this amount here no for the unrecovered balance at the beginning so the unrecovered balance at the end here will be the unrecovered balance at the beginning for year two and for the interest on unrecovered balance is 10 percent times this one okay this so we have now this 78 pesos and 45 centavos and still our equivalent cash flow is just equal now to our annuity which is 315.47 and our recovered amount is just simply equal now to this 315.47 here minus this interest now on unrecovered balance which is 78.45 okay so we have now this 237 pesos and this 02 centavos and for the unrecovered balance at the end is just again simply equal now to this 784 pesos and 53 cents minus this uh, recovered amount of 237.02 and we have now this value of 547 pesos and 51 centavos so now when we calculate for year three until year four so almost uh, you use the same flow no and procedure for year one and year two so we can have now this uh, table actually we will have now this table now as a summary for at year zero year one year two year three and year four and accordingly do the simple process or procedure of calculations for years three and four okay so summarizing all in the next slide using this table one for this unrecovered balances using a rate of return of 10 percent on the undercovered balance so again we will have now this amount here okay so starting at year zero so as you can see our cash flow will start at 1000 since our annuity no, will start from the first year until the fourth year so that's why this is just 1000 here okay so we will have also now this unrecovered balance no for at the end no 
uh, denoted by this end and here is the beginning okay so we just tabulate the results no from starting from year zero year one year two until the year four and year five so this would be now the calculated values no for all uh years no from zero until four years okay so if you are going to sum up no the interest on unrecovered balance so we have to sum this one up no this is just equal now to, to 261 pesos and 88 centavos and for this recovered amount which is just equal now to 1000 pesos no if we sum up these values here in this column number five okay and in this table uh, shows the unrecovered balance no at the end of each year from zero until four years uh, in column six also here unrecovered balance in this column using the 10 percent rate on the unrecovered balance and at the beginning of the year no from year zero to year four and after four years here uh, the total the total is uh, recovered no this 1000 pesos the total amount of 1000 pesos is recovered no in the fourth year and the balance in this column no in this column as you can see is exactly equal now to zero so if we are going to revisit now the definition that we have that is why uh, it is being defined here as the rate paid on the unpaid balance of borrowed money or the rate earned on the recovered balance uh, of an investment so that the final payment or receipt brings the balance exactly to exactly zero with interest considered so that so that is why you can check no this balance to exactly zero so we have here no we we have just proved that using this ROR considering the recovered balance we have now this uh, zero here no at the end of four years so you can check no if if you have fully recovered the amount no where in this case uh the recovered amount is 1000 which is uh here no since we have at year zero we have now this uh, an amount initial amount of 1000 uh we have borrowed this money so it is being recovered no after four years here in which this is our call of recovered amount which is just uh equal to 1000 so our unrecovered balance at year 4 is therefore equal now to 0 because uh, we have recovered this amount at the end of 4 years, okay? And I think uh, this is uh, very clear no, to everyone regarding this ROR when we are going to consider the unrecovered balance. But in our next slide, we are going to proceed no, with this unrecovered balances using a 10% rate of return. Take note on initial amount okay in our previous slide in our item a it is for the unrecovered balance no but this time we are going to consider the initial amount so we have here in this table no the unrecovered balances using a rate of return of 10 percent on the initial amount okay so as you can see we have still we have now this initial cash flow of 1000 and for our recovered balance of this 1000 pesos okay and still our unrecovered balance no at the beginning is as uh, this one and then uh, the only difference now is the interest on unrecovered balance no here this column 3 uh, as you can see it is uniform no all throughout from the very first year until the fourth year if you are going to compare this one here, as you can see, so it it is uh, different, no? It varies, no? From 100 on the first year, and then on the second year, it is only uh, 78.45. It is just 10%, uh, no? That this one is 10% of this amount. This one is 10% of this amount, and so for this uh, amount here, 10% of this, and this one is 10% of this. But if we are going to consider the initial amount, so our initial amount is 1,000, okay? So probably, 
it is uniform, no? 10% uh, of 1,000 is 100 all throughout, no? From the first year until the fourth year. So, if we are going to sum up here, so it is just equal to 400. Since uh, 200 pesos now is our interest for every year. And how about our cash flow? So, still our cash flow is the same, no? We have annuity, no? From the very first year until the fourth year uh, of 315.47, which is still the same now for this uh, unrecovered balance consideration in table one. So, how about this recovered amount here? What do you think? So, again, we have now this recovered amount. Okay? It differs no, from or it varies from our table one. These values are vary no from year one until the year four but if you're going to consider the initial amount so it is uniform all throughout from the very first year until the fourth year because why because our interest here is uniform no from the very first year until the fourth year so if you're going to to get the recovered amount is just this 315 minus 100 is just this one also for the year two year three year four so it is uniform no so if you're going to sum up this one so it is equal now to 861 pesos and 88 centavos and for the unrecovered balance as you can see uh, in year four so it is not equal to exactly zero no as you can see in our table one for uh, unrecovered balance it is exactly zero but if we are going to consider on the initial amount it is not exactly equal to zero it have a value of 138 pesos and this 12 centavos okay so what is the implication of this one what is the implication of this one okay so in our table one, it is exactly equal to zero because the sum no, of this recovered amount after four years is just simply equal to 1,000, meaning uh, the amount of this initial cash flow here of 1,000 is recovered after four years. That's why the, the recovered balance at the end of four years is zero. But in our table two, considering this initial amount of 1,000, so... If you sum up this one, it is just equal now to 861.88. So, the amount, no, the initial amount of 1,000 is still not recovered at the end of 4 years. So, that is why this is not exactly equal to 0 because if you are going to subtract this and this one, it's just equal to this amount of 138 pesos and 12 centavos. So, this table uh, shows only that the unrecovered balance, no? of our 10% return is always figured on the initial no on the initial amount of this 1000 where in this column 6 in year 4 this this year year 4 as you can see shows a remaining and recovered amount of 138 pesos and 12 centavos because only 861 pesos and 88 centavos is recovered after 4 years okay as you can see in this uh, column number five so this is just a simple explanation on this table so comparing this one to table one again so proceeding with our item c okay as you can see it here okay so as shown in column three here in table no in table one a total of of 400 pesos no from our uh, initial table here in our previous slide this one in column 3 we have this 400 pesos no if we are going to use this initial amount so in column 3 we have a total of 400 so we have here in, in column 3 a total of 400 in interest must be earned if this 10 percent return each year is based on the initial amount of 1,000 pesos. However, only this amount here, no, of 261 pesos and 88 centavos in interest must be earned if a 10% return on the recovered balance, take note, unrecovered balance is used. So, there is more of the annual cash flow available 
to reduce the remaining loan when the rate is applied to the unrecovered balance as in our as in the part you know in our uh, previous slides and as shown in this uh, table one here okay so i hope uh, you understand now uh, if you are going to consider the ROR uh, basing on this unrecovered balance so the sum no the interest the sum of this uh, unrecovered balance using this interest is just simply equal to 261 pesos and 88 pesos okay but if you are going to consider the initial amount of 1000 it is just equal now to this 400 pesos so there's a very big difference no there's a very big difference if we are going to consider the initial amount and if you are going to consider the unrecovered balance in which in the ROR or the rate of return method we will go into this uh, unrecovered balance based on our definition in our first slide in which our total here is just exactly equal now to zero okay so as you can see in figure one here no for a better understanding on on this table no as you can see on this uh, vertical axis we have now this uh, loan balance in terms of philippine money p and in this x-axis now is the number of years okay so initially we have now this 1000 pesos here during uh, year one okay so year one we have now this 1000 we have now 784 pesos and 53 cents for this year two 547.51 for year three and this 286.79 on year four okay so here as you can see at this point this is now our uh, loan balance of 1000 okay so as you can see it here no in this figure we have now this amount here uh, indicated by this bracket which is 100 pesos which is our interest for this 1000 pesos which is this one okay so we have now this loan balance reduction of this 215 pesos and 47 cents as indicated here okay for our first year so this is our first year so this 100 is this interest here and this 215 pesos is this one here for the loan balance reduction okay because this is reduction because uh, you are going to deduct this one from this 1000 here so this amount minus this one is just equal now to this 784, okay? So, that's why uh, we have now this 784.53 here, okay? So, again, considering second year, so for the second year, we have now this 78.45, which is the interest. Again, this is now our interest. And then we have now this 237 pesos and 02 cents, no? for this loanable balance uh, reduction so if you're going to deduct this one from here so you can get this amount of 547 pesos and 51 centavos no which is at this level now for our year three here so that is why 547 pesos and 51 centavos here so considering year three here so again we have now this 54.75 pesos here as our interest and this 260 pesos and 72 cents here as our loan balance reduction. So after that, uh, deduct this uh, amount 260 pesos and 72 centavos from this 547.51 pesos. So we have now this 286.79 pesos. So considering year four, so we have now this uh, 28, no? pesos and 68 centavos as our interest and our uh, loan reduction is 286.79 pesos okay which is this one so if you are going to deduct this one from this one so it is exactly equal now to zero no at this point no that's why it is zero here at this point because the loan balance is equal to zero okay so this is now the implication no of this table and 
correlating this table to this figure one here in which uh, as uh, you can see in our explanation uh, this is how the rate of return applies no, for these uh, economic studies and because the rate of return is the interest rate on the unrecovered balance the computation no, for table one for uh, present present no a uh, correct interpretation of this uh, 10% rate of return clearly as you can see an interest rate applied only to the principal no as indicated here as indicated in this table no apply only on the initial amount or principal uh, it is just uh, it just uh, manifests no and represents a higher rate than what is uh, stated, no? Which is an ROR method, no? Considering the this uh, unrecovered balance. So this is uh, the true uh, consideration for ROR, considering the unrecovered balance, not that uh, considering the initial amount. But as of the present, as you can observe, uh, some financial institutions, no lending corporations, are doing this no in which they are applying this rate or rate of return on the initial amount or the principal amount which we have uh, uh, as what i have said no which is uh, higher than this method no which is for this ror method in calculating considering this unrecovered balance try to think of it no the interest no using this uh, unrecovered balance is only 261.88 but if you are going to use the principal or initial amount it is just equal now to 400 pesos okay so its interest is higher than this method no considering unrecovered balance and uh, if you are going to to use no the the true and correct method of this ROR considering unrecovered balance uh, the sum of this one is 1000 pesos no which uh, manifest and indicate that it is a uh, fully recovered no, at the end of four years. But if you are going to refer to this table, if you sum this one up, it is just only 861 pesos and 88 centavos, no? In which it is not uh, yet recovered after the four years. You still have a balance of 138 pesos and 12 centavos to be paid, no? To your loan of 1,000 pesos. So this is just for a thousand pesos no amount of money how about if it involves already a big amount no like 100,000 pesos you may multiply this one with 100 so if you multiply also this one by 100 so more or less it is about 13,800 pesos no unrecovered balance that you need to pay no you need to pay to the bank or lending co corporation after these four years meaning you did not recover yet the amount no so this is just a very brief and a concise explanation no, of this rate of return method considering unrecovered balance and this uh, initial amount or principal where at present most banks and even lending corporations are doing the rate of return on the initial amount not on the unrecovered balance so probably they will have uh, more profit no because the interest is very high no as you can see considering this table no for a uh, rate of return the initial amount the interest is 400 compared now to to this one for 261 or almost 262 pesos for this 1000 initial amount of 1000 pesos loanable amount no so if this one gets uh, bigger or higher so that would uh, I mean that this is also uh, a multiple no or maybe if you have multiplied this one by 100 so probably you could also multiply this one by a hundreds okay so considering this one so it is advised no uh, for us and for you also to have a uh, uh, a better background no, on calculating the rate of return method in some economic studies okay
So now we are going to proceed to this uh, sample problem number two. An investment of 270,000 pesos can be made in a project that will produce a uniform annual revenue of 185,400 for five years and then have a salvage value of 10% of the investment. An out-of-pocket cost for operation and maintenance will be 81,000 pesos per year. Taxes and insurance will be 4% of the first cost per year and the company expects uh, capital to earn not less than 25% before income taxes. Is this a desirable investment? Use the rate of return or this ROR method. So again, our basic formula for this is this rate of return equal now to the net annual profit over the capital invested. So again, we are going to consider now the annual revenue. So based on this one, we have now this annual revenue of 185,400 pesos. Okay. So after that one, we need to calculate the annual cost or the expenses. So what are the items uh, for this annual cost and expenses? So first, we have now the depreciation. Okay, so since our N is simply equal now to, our N is just simply equal to 5 years, no, based on this problem. So we are going to use this depreciation uh, formula, no, given already our original cost, which is 270,000, and our salvage value, according to the problem, is just 10%, uh, no of this investment no the salvage value is 10 percent so 10 percent times 170,000 is just in 27,000 pesos so we are using this formula no for our depreciation we are not using the straight line method here because uh, we don't uh, we don't have this value of l no so therefore we we opt to use this depreciation charge uh, formula for this uh, problem so we have this value of CO minus CL. So again, we are only after to this one. So proceeding with this formula, we actually have now this uh, formula for F given A, I percent in, in years. So this is 1 plus I. Our I is just simply equal now to 25% here, this one. And N is just 5 years, this one minus 1 all over i so we can actually get our depreciation small d which is equal now to 29,609 pesos okay so that is one for the annual cost and based on the problem we also have now this operation and maintenance we denote this one as om o for operation and m for maintenance so according to the problem it is just equal now to 81,000 pesos. And third item is the taxes and insurance denoted by this T as tax and I the insurance. So it is just equal now to 4% no, of the first cost. So that is why TI is just 4% of 270,000 is 10,800 pesos. So therefore, we have now our total annual cost which is equal now to depreciation plus the OM plus the TI. So if we substitute all those values, we can have this amount of total annual cost equal to 121,409 pesos. So we can say that our net annual profit is just simply equal to annual revenue minus this total annual cost. And substituting those numerical values here, we can get now this net annual profit of 63,991. So, therefore, we can say that this ROR using this formula is just simply equal now to 63,991 divided by this uh, capital invested of 270,000, which is equal now to 0 0.237, or in percent, it is 23.7%. But this is less than 25%, no? And this is also given from the problem, where this is... Uh, as indicated in the problem, should not be less than uh, 25, no? So, in our case, our actual ROR is less than 25. So, therefore, we can say that the investment is not justified here, okay? Therefore, the investment is not justified.
Okay, so that would be it for our sample problem number two. And uh, these are our my references rather. I am adding some references no? from Santa Maria Hippolito and Joel Mandawi. I add uh, Sipol Vida, Soder, and Gottfried. Also from Soliban, et al. And also from Blanc and Tarkin. Uh, seventh edition uh, for this subject engineering economy. So thank you very much for uh, watching and listening and God bless and keep safe everyone. Have a good day ahead of us.